it's Joe and Lisa with Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. We're here this morning and want to welcome you back to the channel and I'm going to talk to you about some, some wonderful stuff and uh, how we uh, built our casita when we first moved here to Ecuador. We bought a property that had an existing home that we moved into mm -hmm. and um, the previous owners had built a slab where they were going to build a, a project but it was completely covered up by jungle. <laughs> Everything was a jungle here. Everything was overgrown. It really was. And so the slab already had the plastic conduit pulled through for the electrical, um, but that was, that was pretty much it. Um, so we started really with the ironwork. Yeah, the, iron, the, the really neat thing here is that the buildings, the structures are basically metal and cement. So there's not always a lot of woodwork that goes into those. Yeah, so the welder came and he started welding up, you know, iron uh, beams and things and steel beams. And then, um, you know, in came the brick guys and they started doing the brickwork on the sides and uh, bricking it all in. And um, so that was kind of a long project, the brickwork. It was. It, I think it took longer than everybody expected, but... It turned out really nice. Well, we tried to take as many pictures as we could during the building process. Somehow I've misplaced some of them, but you'll see them here. And, um, you know, the electricity and the plumbing came in um, during this whole process. And we put in a biodigester system rather than a standard septic system. Uh, biodigester system, you know, should work a little bit better, I think. And uh, so we keep it, you know, chock full of... Uh, microbes and uh, bacteria so it yeah. keeps it nice and clean working well. I will say that the contractors that worked on the house, all the all the guys that worked on the house, they were incredibly amazing to watch. These guys have no fear of heights because one, the casita is up on a hill and there's nothing flat up there and they would put scaffolding up and have a couple of bricks under you know each leg to uh, hold it somewhat level and they'd climb up there and then they'd add ladders on top of that. I mean, we were just amazed to watch them. They're just incredible. Yeah, I think um, in many places, especially in North America, none of that would be allowed. Oh no. <laughs> the job would be shut down, but they, they, they live a little risky here when they do these jobs. It's Yeah, I, I saw a ladder on top of a ladder and he just climbed up there like there was nothing nothing going on. Well, our guy finally, he got the roof on and um, got that all buttoned down and then in came the uh, cabinets and the fixtures for the bathroom and the kitchen and, um, we, and then we painted. Um, so, you know, the sliding doors upstairs in the bedroom are just awesome. What a great thought by our architect to put those in. The view is amazing. Got a great view of Mondongo with a nice little um, uh, patio porch there right off the bedroom upstairs. Mm -hmm. And when you wake up in the morning you, and you sit up in bed, you look out a nice big picture window and you see downtown Vilcabamba and all oh, the mountains. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got really, really incredible views. Everyone's always overwhelmed by the views um, here. And it's, it's actually a little bit higher than our home is, um, you know, maybe uh, 50 feet higher. But, uh, yeah, it's bigger. So, you know, the view and, and of the valley and Mondongo and the surrounding mountains, it's just incredible. It is. It, it's it's funny because the big picture window faces one of the mountains, and uh, most of the people that have stayed there so far, there's a lot of peace in watching the guy do his cows on that mountain over there. <laughs> and they like to know how many cows they are, what color the cows are, but it's just like big screen TV and very yeah. relaxing. And, you know, it's um, the temperature stays really nice up there. Mm. All of our tenants have agreed have agreed with this, is that the, the windows are situated just right, and so we get a lot of breeze up there, and, um, you know, it just stays nice and cool, and it's just good living. It is, and I think that's one thing that's important um, to know, is that when you have a house, it, it needs to be situated with the windows to where you can get that cross breeze coming through because in the, the drier season, it gets a little bit warmer, but then the wind, without that wind being able to come through, it makes it really tough. And our architect was you know good, good to put in really good windows with bug screens on them. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of important here. Um, 
many homes do not have screens. Yeah, we wanted to be sure that this one did. He did. We wound up doing a um, granite countertop in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, nice job on the cabinet work. It's a very small kitchen, but it does have an oven and, you know, a four burner stove and a nice little refrigerator. So it has really everything that you need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's small, but I think the biggest thing in Ecuador is you should spend more time outside than you do inside. Yeah, it's about 600 square feet total, I would say. Yeah. Um, I measured it once, but I can't remember. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. So, yeah, we had a really great building process with it. It took six to eight months, uh, I want to say. We had some problems with labor early on. Um, you know, my architect didn't get to bring his usual guys from from Loja because they were busy on other projects. So he had to bring, you know, he had to hire local labor and, you know, there were some issues with that. And we finally, you know, got some good guys in here working and things worked out well. Had a great tile layer. Oh, um, man, he was incredible. He actually stayed with us while he did the tile. So because he lived so far away. Yeah, he was he was awesome. Um, this guy worked from 6 a.m. <laughs> till, you know, well after dark. We'd have well to make after. him stop and come in and eat. Yeah, yeah, but he was he was amazing. His name was Fabiano. Hats off to Fabiano. He did a wonderful job. He did. So that uh, made our whole process easy, you know, having some great people in place. And, um, again, Milton Mina is the guy to work with. He's just yeah. awesome. Um, probably won't be the cheapest guy in town, but he'll, he'll be the best, in my opinion. Yeah, his follow-through is really good. His um, attention to detail is really good. And I'll say, at one point, there's a spiral staircase, and um, the original welder was supposed to do it, but he didn't really have the pipe bender. And so even after it was all installed, Milton came in and looked at it, and he said, no, this is not going to work. He took it out and, and put it back in, and we were really um, cautious with the budget going in, and he stuck to the budget and, until we changed the ideas on the granite. And I, so I think we slightly went over budget, but for the most part, he stayed on budget. Yeah, and you know, price range, I wanna say with, with appliances and furniture in there, um, we were right at about 23,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About $23,000. And yeah. so, um, you know, you could argue that that money in the CD would draw, you know, $200 a month in interest, or, you know, that might be better. Um, but we didn't build it for the money. We built it so that people would want to come and visit and stay there. Mm -hmm. So we do try to make it available for family, and, and um, uh, we do rent it out when, you know, it doesn't look like we have anyone coming this way. Right. Um, so we do, you know, uh, uh, basically we make enough to pay our workers for keeping up the grounds. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so uh, anyway, wanted to share this with you. I hope you like it. If you have some questions about it, don't hesitate to ask them. We want you to know we appreciate all your comments. We appreciate your likes and your subscribes. And uh, it all helps us to get the word out about what we do here in Ecuador and, and how life is here. Well, and I think it helps to people coming here um, to set expectations, help them to understand the differences of where they're coming from and what they're coming to. Absolutely. Well, that's about all we have for today. So ciao for now.